What's going on guys? Today it's time to put a new rear end in the Jeep. So I was able to source this rear end, actually ended up buying it online used because I thought about going to a junkyard and trying to pull a rear end, but uh, for all the trouble it's worth and how difficult that would be, buying one online, it was like $550 shipped and they actually give you a one year warranty with it and they, they do say how many miles are on it. Uh, it's up to you if you want to believe it. This said it had 140,000 miles on it. It appears to be in decent shape. It's got surface rust, obviously, but um, just from sitting out, probably. But yeah, this, this looks decent. Uh, it appears to be functional, uh, spins with like no resistance. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, I just got that shipped to my door for about $550. So I thought that was a decent deal for that and uh, for how easy it was. So yeah, first off, I'm gonna start by disassembling the rear end that's in it. Um, obviously take the wheels off and assess if there's any other damage underneath. I forgot to mention last time this strut on the right side here is actually snapped and I do have a new one of those. That's a, an aftermarket strut I bought uh, from Bilstein. So I'll also be able to put that in uh, at the same time. So yeah, let's get started. Here is a quick update as to where I'm at. So I first took the wheels off. I unbolted the calipers. As you can see now, they are hanging up there. I took off the uh, rotors, which they were really seized on there. Had to really pound those off. I disconnected the sway bar here and I actually unbolted it from the actual rear axle because it's gonna have to go on the new one. I disconnected the uh, struts, both struts, and you can actually see here's half of <laughs> the one that snapped that was the, uh, the right side strut that was the top of it. So then I also disconnected the drive shaft. Uh, so all that's left to disconnect is going to be this bolt and this top one here. I don't even know what you call these bars, but uh, those are the two connections that are left on both sides. So a total of four bolts left. Uh, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna start prepping uh, the new rear axle. As you can see, it does have a little bit of rust on it. So at least for this top side, I'm gonna give it a quick uh, sand down to knock all the loose rust off. And then I'm gonna give it a quick coat of paint so something that's actually meant to go over top of rust and uh, stop the spread of rust. This is all like really pretty minor surface rust from probably just sitting outside. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'll just give it a quick sand and give it a coat of paint. And then while that's drying, I can focus back on removing the damaged uh, rear end.
so where I'm at right now, I got all of the bolts out, uh, but obviously you can see it's still high in the air. So I need to bring it down to the ground before I can actually get the rear end off. So right now I'm actually chilling with a screwdriver through this hole holding uh, this rear bar on. And I just slipped a screw into this bar in the front. So I think that's gonna be enough to take the uh, stands out and then lower it down. Uh, and then I should be able to slip those out lower the whole thing onto uh, actual jack stands. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have successfully removed uh, the old bent uh, rear axle, as you can see. So the new one is pretty much ready to go back in. The paint actually came out pretty nice. I mostly just did the top side so far because I can do the uh, bottom side when it's installed. So yeah, I'm gonna slide this underneath. I'm gonna have to move the old one somehow. Uh, just drag it out, probably slide this one underneath and then try to uh, connect the the four main points first, and then uh, slowly connect everything else, the drive shaft, put the rotors back on, um, put the springs in and connect the struts and it should be good to go. All right, so I've got the uh, the rear axle in, and uh, that was far from easy, but uh, especially doing it by myself. But I'm glad I got it in. Uh, the old one is out, old bent one is here. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, the wheel is actually straight now, and everything actually spins, unlike before. <laughs> uh, there's still some work to do under here, like this uh, this rock slider piece here needs uh, bent back in place and then uh, painted as well uh, but yeah that's it for today next time I'll be moving on to the front and get the steering figured out and then I should be able to put this back on the ground and uh, try to drive it <laughs> 